Hey there, how's it going? Well, I can't say that I really fully understand people's like for frame rates like this. Yeah, I don't understand that, but you like that better than something that actually looks like a smooth movement. No, no, smooth movement looks looks makes it look fake. Don't understand it. Anyway, in my last video, I was trying to explain a concept that, to me, is, is such a basic thing to describe, but it, apparently it's offensive to talk about. It's, it's like, one can mention that these groups here, these demographics over here, have dealt with the, these things for hundreds of years, or longer, right? This is what these people have dealt with. And there are still leftovers of those kinds of things in our society. You don't know what it's like to be a woman. If you're a, if you're a man, you don't know what it's like to be a woman. A woman doesn't know what it's like to be a man, either. There's a lot of things that are in this society that, that we're not... We're not really showing how hard it really is. What the struggles are. What the things that make it difficult are. Those things on either side are not really being shown very well. I think maybe it should be. But I've, I've talked with people who try to say that in Russia, where they passed the, the, this legislation that makes it so... Um, if you're gay, you need to be in the closet about it, type of thing, that that isn't really homophobic because it's not saying people should be thrown in jail or anything like that for being gay. And I'm like, so, you know, to those who have that kind of attitude, I'm like, so if, if you were in a situation where you couldn't even comfortably show your family, you couldn't show pictures of your family to your friends or your coworkers, where you had, had to hide everything about your, your sexuality, the things that your sexuality, you know, affects. The places you go, the people you spend your time with. Having to put, having to hide all of that. You, you wouldn't be upset about that. Bullshit. Just look how upset people get if you just say the phrase white male. They're triggered. Just tr triggered like, like, I, I've, I've never seen. And yet the ones, yet some of the, these SJWs making absolute declarations are the ones with thin skins. <laughs> really think about it. How you would feel if you had to hide, you know, such basic things. Well, that's how, uh, that's how gay people used to have it here in the United States. That's how it was. With all this progress that's been made, and we know the way that things were like before, that there's not going to be some concern about whether the current administration might make us go back to the way things were before. When you're the default, you never have to give it anything a second thought. I have no problem with movies wanting to be more diversified in the demographics provided they're decent movies if you know if the movie sucks because they were spending too much time trying to make the demographics just perfect then you know that's a reason to be upset about you know the movie i guess well not really upset but i think it's strange to actually get upset over a movie but uh I mean, unless you're one of the actors in it and your name just got ruined because you got involved in some project that turned into crap, you know. But when people talk about their experiences as whatever demographic they are, and they are trying to talk about the things that make it difficult for them, don't treat them like they're just being whiny. Don't, you know, basically make the claim that they're being too uppity. But, you know, wording it differently than that, right? If there are things that you're going through as the demographic that you are, then you should feel free to discuss those things. That's why 
I support the things that uh, that some of you know some of the the issues that they're talking about. I support them in in the men's rights uh, activists in some of the things they talk about, and I also support some of the things that uh, that uh, feminists talk about. I support you know a number of things from all across the board. That's not gonna, that's not doesn't make me necessarily a feminist. It doesn't necessarily make me an MRA. You know, I think we should listen to what the straight, white, cisgender, male demographic. We should be listening to some of the things that they are, that they struggle with. We should listen to those things. You know, if you can't listen to their things, then how do you expect them to listen to your things? We've got to listen to. We've got to listen to both sides. We've got to listen to the hardships that that any side is going through. I mean, I guess we don't really need to. But if we want to consider ourselves open-minded and decent, I, I, I think it's something that would be good to consider. <laughs> so, but uh, I guess I don't really know what more to say. That looks okay to you, huh? All right. <laughs>